Hello everyone, this is Verpuncture with race number 9 of my F1 2010 career mode. We're going to jump straight into the interview asking about our title chances. Our title chances with the Virgin. I don't think so, but we'll just hedge our bets and pick the middle. Asking about our team. We think they're awesome. Some kind of test. Machine settings. Uh, they said the car was awesome. Let's see the objectives. We have to finish 20th in qualifying. And then race, finish 18th. I think we can get that done. So we'll go to qualifying one of the European Grand Prix. We'll take a look at the setup. Engine, gearbox, suspension. Balance brakes 4951. Three two wings. And here we go with qualifying one. And we made it out of qualifying one easily. In thirteenth. So we'll go to qualifying two here. And we're gonna looks like we're leaving it to the very last second here. Valencia is uh, not one of my better tracks, but I'm I'm not like super bad at it. it. It's not like I hate it, but it's not one of my favorites. So it's kind of like a so-so kind of track. There's some there's some kind of fun parts if you get it right. I think the the third sector is kind of the uh, the fun one if you get that one right. And down the, the long straight here, the first of the two kind of longish sweeping turn straights. As you can see, we put on a set of old option tires, showing how much confidence we have to get into the next session. We're not doing too badly, we're getting most of our marks. And we just a tad deep there, but not too bad. And this is the these two corners here. It's very cool when you get it right. This last turn kind of can lock up easily here. We're gonna go to the to the line and see where we end up. And we end up eleventh by a very, very small margin. We almost made it into the top ten, but it was not to be. As you can see we we, the version doesn't seem to have the uh, pace here as in uh, other tracks like Canada where we had tremendous pace although we made some mistakes there so we're going to go to the interview still asking about our title chances <laughs> we're just going to say yeah Asking about our qualifying, I think. I think our qualifying was okay. So we'll pick the middle. Asking about uh, what we think about our the setup of our car. Let's see. 
I think it's kind of good, so we'll say it's good. So we'll go to the race. We'll take a look at the uh, tire strategies. Looks like we're gonna we're gonna opt to start on the uh, option tires and then go for primes, but there's a chance of rain, so we'll see how that happens. Weber on the pole. There's us with two poles. There's our teammate doing his thing. Our engineer gives us some uh, words of encouragement. And here we go with the start of the European Grand Prix. And we're getting a bad start as cars are flying by us left and right. Mostly to the right. We'll, we'll touch the, the Force India in the first one there. So now we're down in the swath. We're overheating the crap out of our, out of our engine to... Our engineer wants us to overtake, but they're pulling away pretty quickly here. Even on the first lap. Showing me the Virgin just doesn't have the uh, the pace of the other cars. And they're pulling away. So we're going to move ahead here to lap 12. As you can see, the, the track is fairly damp here. We skidded there, so we're, we're gonna come in. And we're gonna get some, put on some intermediate tires. Let's see if we can stop the Virgin crew gives us here. Wow, 4.19. That's, that's like the best pit stop they've given me all season. They must be practicing, because they're. That's like awesome pit stop. We still come around on 20th, but we're gonna move ahead here. End of lap 14. There is a ton of cars in the pit lane here. And we're moving up positions all over the place. Up into 15th. There's Hulkenberg in 14th. But he's going to pull away from us here. So we're going to move ahead. And we're over in lap 19. And you can see our driver is sinking wet tires. As it's very, very wet now. As there's puddles all over the place. So we're going to change to the wet tires. Oh my god. 7.2. Our driver's a little angry with the fudge balls here. I don't know. Now our driver's having a deep thought. And we go way wide. We make a little contact with the wall. And now we'll lose a couple more places. And now we're down in the 22nd. We're going to move later in the lap. We come back up with the Caterer on the Lotus. And we're going to go on the outside here. And then cut them off. And take 21st. Now we're going to go to lap 22. We've caught up with an HRT. Kind of in the same place here. Although he's kind of blocking the corner a little bit more here. We're giving him a little, a little tap. Happened to be behind to let him know that we're here. And now we're gonna see if we can outbreak him. If the inside inside line to get up in the 20th. Now we're in lap 26. 
we got up with the Toro Rosso is having, who is uh, struggling. So then we're going to go on the outside, get up on the 19th. Now we're going to move ahead here to the lap 31, where we got up with the other Caterham, I mean Lotus. Get to the front start finish here. We're pulling him in and then we're gonna outbreak him and get up in the 18th. Now we're on lap 34. There's some cars that are in the pit lane. And now we're up at the 16th. But now we're gonna come in. The track is uh, drying up a little, so we're actually going to risk it and throw out some option tires. Let's see what the crew gives us here. 4.77. No, it's not 7.2, at least it's not 7.2. We're going to come out at 18. So we're going to move ahead here to lap 39. We're catching up with the other Toro Rosso. He's kind of blocking that corner off there. We are a little too far back. You know, he's got the inside there. But now we're going to go down this long straight. And we're just going to go right by him. Get up in the 17th. And then we're just going to move ahead to the end of the race here on lap 56. There's not a whole lot happened after that. As you can see, our tires are falling apart. But the, uh, the Virgin is, just didn't have the uh, pace to catch up with the cars that were in front. We were just, didn't have, just didn't have it here. As you saw, Battle was just in front of us there. So we finish a lap down. But our driver was happy anyway, because the team only wants to finish 18th, and we were able to do that. Kobayashi, our team, our uh, country mate, just one position in front of us. There's our teammate uh, doing his thing there at the end, in the back. We didn't really do anything too egregious here, but uh, we just didn't uh, have the pace. So. But Vettel, uh, Hamilton, and then Weber, one, two, three. But it was kind of an enjoyable race. But it did just after the uh, after about lap forty, we were so far in front of the cars behind us, and then. The cars in front of us were like well in front of us, so and we weren't really making up any ground. So, but we're still 21st in the drivers, and then constructors were in last because uh, our fine performances so far have gotten us that far. But we're gonna check. We got a check mark for our qualifying objective. We got the check mark for the race objective. I have a feeling we're going to level up. And we did. Alright. Well, that was the F1 2010 career mode. Race number 9, the European Grand Prix. Please give us a like and subscribe. And we will see you guys again. Goodbye.